dear student welcome to my channel topic of this video is multivariate linear regression now let us start multivariate linear regression is used to measure the degree at which more than one independent variable and more than one dependent variable are linearly related multivariate simple regression a regression model with more than one dependent variable and single independent variable multivariate multiple regression a regression model with more than one dependent variable and more than one independent variable now see the question can a supermarket owner maintain a stock of water ice cream frozen fruits canned foods and meat as a function of temperature tornado chance and grass gas price during the tornado session in june so from this question several obvious assumption can be drawn if it is too hot ice cream sales increase if tornado hits water and canned food sales increase while ice cream frozen food and meat will decrease if gas prices increase then price on all goods will increase a mathematical model based on multivariate regression analysis will address this all issues and more complicated questions now for this example independent variables are temperature tornado chance and gas price and these variables can be stored as a continuous variable binary variable and again continuous variable respectively and dependent variables are water stock ice cream stock frozen fruit canned food meat stock etc this is a sample table in which these are the independent variables and these are the dependent variables now we'll see another example an agricultural expert is determined to uncover the reasons behind the destruction of crops and the production of fruits in a particular area by examining the recent water patterns water availability and irrigation methods chemical usage and other relevant factors the expert aims to clarify why the crops have been wilting and failing to produce the result so for this example independent variables are recent weather patterns water availability irrigation methods and chemical usage and dependent variables are crop health and fruit production and this is the sample data set for this problem advantage the multivariate regression method helps us to find a complex relationship between the multiple independent and dependent variables it defines the correlation between dependent variables and independent variable disadvantage it requires a high level of mathematical calculation complex it is difficult to analyze and multivariate regression yields better results when used with large data set so data availability should be there to understand the multivariate linear regression you should know the detail concept of multiple linear regression because multivariate is only the variation in multiple linear regression now this is the equation of multiple linear regression so y is dependent variable x is independent variable n is total number of records and k is nothing but number of independent variables and these are nothing but the dimension so y is nothing but n into 1 x is n into k plus 1 c1 is for the intercept and k is nothing but number of independent variables as we are taking the intercept into the consideration so number of uh, parameters for beta is plus 1 because first parameter is for intercept and here the error is associated with each record so size is n into 1 so basically you require to remember these dimensions because there is only changes dimension for the multivariate simple linear regression and multivariate multiple linear regression so this is the example for multiple linear regression now we will see the two types of multivariate so first type is multivariate simple regression here more than one dependent variable is there but only one independent variable so here dimension becomes now here y dependent x independent n total number of records here the number of independent variable is 1 so k equal to 1 and number of dependent variables are more than 1 so y becomes n into p where n is total number of records and p is nothing but the dependent variable x is equal to n into k plus 1 but for this k is 1 so it is basically k n into 2 and beta is 2 into p and epsilon is same as y that is y because for every record the epsilon is there so 
this equation if you remember this dimension then you can easily write down this matrix so only you require to elaborate for particular values so here uh, it is given for the n number of records p number of variables that is the uh, n is nothing but the total number of records k is nothing but number of independent variables and p is nothing but the number of dependent variables so here as p dependent variables are there so here this is the beta matrix so beta matrix is always represent the parameters for the uh, uh, parameters for the equation so here always for the beta matrix the parameters are always for the column wise so if here five columns are there then beta matrix will be of five so first column will represent for the first dependent variable second column will represent for the second dependent variable so these are nothing but the dimensions and here the example is given for four number of records that is k equal to one because only one independent variable is there and number of dependent variables are two so y matrix is two times so whatever matrix of y it is same for epsilon k is equal to one because first parameter is stored for the intercept this is nothing but the independent variable and as two dependent variables are there so column must be two so beta 0 1 and beta 1 1 is the parameter for this and beta 0 2 and beta 1 2 is parameter for this dependent variable and therefore the size of beta is k plus 1 into p so here i have given only for the first that is y11 which is equal to beta 0 1 into x11 beta 1 plus epsilon 1 1 and this is for y12 similarly we can write down for all remaining values now whatever equations we are using in multiple linear regression of matrix inverse same method can be applied here because only there is a change in the dimension so here the example is taken and based on that we can solve the example so here first we require to take x dash x that is input independent matrix transpose again that matrix inverse and x dash y so by that way we can calculate the parameters of the multivariate regression so either it may be simple or multiple the formula is same so this example is given so here two independent variables is there and one independent variable so the formula is same so we are using this then always the variables are in column because they represent the particular feature so here x is 1 1 1 1 this is for intercept term 1 2 3 4 y is 1 2 3 4 2 3 4 5 first we require to take x dash into x so this is nothing but a symbol multiplication that is transpose and the original matrix we get this we require to calculate the transpose so when the matrix is 2 by 2 it is very easy to calculate the inverse of the matrix so this is the inverse again we are taking the next portion that is nothing but x dash y so x dash y is calculated and at last we will multiply this matrix and x dash y to get the beta so this is nothing but the parameter for the first independent variable and these are the parameters for the second independent variable so for the first we get the intercept 0 and for the second we are getting the uh, intercept 0 and slope 1 and for the second intercept 1 and the slope is also 1 so in this way the same equation that we are using for multiple linear regression can be used for multivariate simple linear regression now in multivariate multiple linear regression there is only single change so here in simple linear regression that is multivariate simple linear regression k is 1 but here more number of independent variables and more number of dependent variables so p is also greater than 1 and k is greater than 1 so whatever the dimension we require to just make the change that here k is also greater than 1 so in this way we can write down this so whatever the number of columns the same number for p and whatever number dimension of y is same for epsilon only we require to take the care of this so first is for the intercept then after that all these independent variables are there and whatever the number of columns here they are nothing but the rows so basically we require to remember only this dimension after that we can expand and even we can solve the problem so in this way it is given for 
two independent variables so this x2 independent variable and three dependent variables so as three independent variables are there three columns are there so this is for slope first parameter and second parameter of slope this is the intercept slope slope for this second dependent variable now we can easily write solve the problem because the formula is same that we are using for the multiple linear regression so here three de de dependent variables are there and two independent variables are there so first we require to arrange in a column format so this is the first feature this is the second feature three dependent features first we make x dash into x after that inverse then next step is we can directly do this continuous multiplication also but only for simplicity i have multi i have taken first inverse and after that i will take the multiplication of x dash y then because we already calculate x dash so after that this this multiplication so we are getting this beta matrix so first is for the first dependent variable so 1.8 is slope and the minus 0 0.05 is uh, 1.8 is intercept and minus 0 0.05 is a slope for the first dependent variable so in this way multivariate linear regression is explained so to understand multivariate the concept of multiple linear regression must be clear thank you